Andrew Honus promised two main things prosperity and security. Prosperity has recently been revealed as the name of a donkey in St. Elizabeth. Leaving anyone who believed that promise of prosperity then to feel like a little bit of a jackass right now. For the seven and a half going on eight years that the Andrew Hornis bad administration has been in office and you get an average of 1,412 murders per year. This is a 25% increase in the number of murders each year on average in this country compared to the last PNP administration. But they campaign on the promise that you could sleep with your windows and your doors open. Peter Bountain exposed and jewelness for make promises where it can't come to all now. Comrades, you recall in the 2015-2016 campaign, then opposition leader Andrew Honis promised two main things, prosperity and security. Prosperity and security. Prosperity, the elusive prosperity, has recently been revealed as the name of a donkey in St. Elizabeth. <laughs> leaving, leaving anyone who believed that promise of prosperity then to feel like a little bit of a jackass right now. But the promise of security was especially tantalizing. Jamaicans could sleep with their windows and doors open if only they would vote for the Jamaica Labour Party. No, the JLP likes to gaslight the public. They like to repeat false narratives until you even start to doubt your perception. So I want you to stand firm with me today as we go and look at the truth. The truth is in the data. Like and subscribe because this is just about to get crazy. Go to the JCF's website. Take the number of murders that occurred each year from 2012 to 2015. Divided by four, you get an average of 1,129 murders per year. Do the same thing for the seven and a half going on eight years that the Andrew Honis bad administration has been in office. And you get an average of 1,412 murders per year. This is a 25% increase in the number of murders each year on average in this country compared to the last PNP administration. But they campaign on the promise that you could sleep with your windows and your doors open. Therefore, if you do the maths, you will see that over 2,200 additional Jamaicans have been murdered under this administration because they had not even maintained the level that we were at. 2,200 in the seven going on eight years. Additional Jamaicans murdered. If Tufton were here, he would say, let that sink in. Let that sink in. So let me make it clear. I have no joy in pointing out to the public and to our guests this dismal performance of the JLP administration. I have no joy in pointing out 
that there have been an abject failure in keeping Jamaicans safe and secure. However, we cannot talk about good governance. We cannot talk about accountability if we don't hold people to account for their promises, if we don't hold them to account for their commitment. When Andrew Honis was campaigning in that election, he said he could hear dead babies crying. He could hear dead babies crying. I want to ask him if he hears the cries of the thousands of additional murders under his leadership. I want to know if he hears the cries of the children, the women, the youth, the men, the elders who have had their lives violently ended over the last seven and a half years. I well remember him shouting at me when I was then Minister in Parliament, say, don't tell me about any whole of society approach to crime. It is the government's responsibility. There is a lot that we can do. So comrades, Jamaica has paid dearly in lives lost because of the failed policies of the JLP Andrew Honis administration. Time come now for an end to excuses and gaslighting. Time come now for a safer Jamaica. Time come now for a leader who is a quick study on the appropriate policies. Time come now for the police to become the guardians of the human rights of all Jamaicans. Time come now for a PNP government to liberate the people from the paralyzing fear of violent crime so them don't have to take with themselves when them see the beryllium truck coming. Time come now. One love, one heart. And remember that this video is all for entertainment purposes. So we want to know who are the six members of parliament who are under investigation for illicit enrichment. Don't hide it. Tell it on your wholeness. I know say you would know who them. Tell it on your wholeness. I know say you would know who them. 371.8 million dollars that's how much tax administration jamaica taj has spent to lease two properties which they have not yet occupied the shocking details were revealed in a special audit report from the auditor general tabled in parliament yesterday the two properties leased by the taj are in greenvale manchester and anotobe saint mary as at August 2023, $356.8 million was paid to lease the Greenvale property and $15 million for the Anotobay property.